Before you call them friend, gotta prove them first Cause they're really loyalty when you're at your worst We need to hit her all like the wire You're looking for some truth, I'll supply If you want it too soft, this ain't deal You gon' choose a law of a sin This just some uncut gems This just some uncut gems We was diamonds in the dirt just grinding in the turf, our mama go berserk, trying to keep from riding the hearse. Now we lines in the work, sons of Zion, we the church. Different color fringes, it's looking vibrant on my shirt. And time lying in the dirt. I pray to be a fire hydrant with this word, like a geyser on the curb. Well, first things first, I want to say, call all your how about Shem Yahweh And that's all praise to the Heavenly Father and the name of His only begotten Son, who the, who the world equally calls Christ, right? And, and what we do out here at the School of Sakari is, we come to teach that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true children of God. That's right. But the, there's a problem with our people, because our people don't like to be reproved. They feelings get hurt when somebody comes out here to correct them. Give me that. Here's the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Read from the chest. Cry aloud, Cry spare aloud. not. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And that's what we do. We come out here and speak with authority, just like our, just like our king did. Just like how Yahweh Shah did. He spoke with authority. Brother, brother, ma'am, how y'all doing today? Y'all doing good? Can, can I speak to y'all for a couple minutes about the Bible? See, our, see, our people don't want to be reproved. Read that again. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet uh -huh. and shew my people their transgression uh -huh. and the house of Jacob their sin. And that's what I'm coming to do is to show our people their transgressions. Family, family, brother. Brother, so so you gonna act like you don't hear me, brother? See, Boy, I... see, see, and, and see, if he get destroyed, he wanna ask God why, why, why you do me like that, Lord? Why, why am I going through this? And and I and I can't stand when our people do that. I can't stand when they get down low. They wanna blame God, but here here we are trying to be angels and messengers for the Lord, but you not listening. What's going on, brother? Can I ask you a question? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Your ethnicity? I'm from Peru. From Peru. Okay, okay. Peruvian. You see yourself? What is it? That's Naftali. 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 Have you, have you, have you ever? Are you Spaniard or native from what's up? Uh, both. My family's ancestry is native, but Spanish later down the line. It's later down the line. What's your father? My father. We're all Peruvian. All Peruvian. Indigenous. So. Lord willing, you might be Israelite, right? Have you ever heard that before? No, I haven't, but I'm not going to be surprised. Slavery and a lot of the stuff that's going to be brought over, yeah. They, see, that's what I'm about to get into. So give me a, uh, give me a, give me, yeah, go ahead and give me Isaiah. Give me Deuteronomy. You want Isaiah 42? Go, give me Deuteronomy, give me Deuteronomy. Give me 15. All right. Because we got to understand, do you know what happened to the so-called Israelites of the Bible? I can't tell you. Can't tell me. Okay. So the so-called Israelites went into a covenant with the Most High God, right? So whenever there's a covenant, there's what? Terms and conditions, right? So I'm gonna read what I'm gonna read to you is the terms and condition of the contract, right? Give me 15. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh huh. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh huh, to observe to do all His commandments and His statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I don't, I don't know no curse to be good. I can't see a curse to be good. But what you gotta understand is these curses came upon the children of Israel because they wasn't following what the Most High God told us to do. So the way that I know that these so-called people on this sign are actual Israelites is through the curses of the Bible because this, this right here, Deuteronomy was written to who? Deut the book of Deuteronomy was written to who? Written to? I don't know. Give me, give me one. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. 1 and 1. Read that. Because we're going to get the context of what the book who was written, so we got to know who was the audience, right? Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and 1. Uh-huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To who? Unto oh. all Israel. So that and now, so Deuteronomy is written to all Israel. We just read in Deuteronomy 28 and 15. These curses are going to come upon them, right? So just follow this. Just follow this logic with me, right? Give me uh, go ahead and give me 68. 
Because you just said it out your own mouth. The Spaniards came and did what? Oh, no, give me 47. Yeah, we'll get uh, Yeah, 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 go ahead. You, you already know. 49. Go ahead. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 40. That's one of the curses. 28 and verse 49. Uh huh. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee uh -huh. from far. So you said you're proven, right? So we, you know that the Spaniards came over and did what to the people? They came over and they, they put them in the captivity and they cut them. Is, for, from where they're coming from, is that from afar? That's from afar, right? Okay, you can read. From the end of the earth. From the ends of the earth. That's a, from here all the way over there to Spain. That's the that's the ends of the earth, right? You read. As swift as the eagle flies. As swift as the eagles fly. What is the bird of Spain? Yeah, it's on the Mexican flag too when they conquered them. It's an eagle. It's an eagle. It's showing. It's showing. Uh, it's foreshadowing their how they came over and took over. As swift as you ever see how an eagle fly, when it come and get something, come in and swoop it down and get it real quick and they take it away. Quick. You ain't never seen that, huh? He read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Y'all wasn't speaking Spanish before they came in, right? Right. Keep reading. Verse fifty. A nation of fierce countenance. A nation of fierce countenance. He read. Which shall not regard the person of old. Person of old. Nor shall favor to the young. They didn't care that they had older people in captivity or younger people. You was going to them fields doing slavery like everybody else. They didn't care if you was three years old. They didn't care if you was ninety. You was gonna you was gonna do that work, right? Keep reading. Verse fifty one. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. Uh huh. And the fruit of thy land uh -huh. until thou be destroyed. And that's what they did. They took everything from y'all land, everything y'all harvested, and they ate it. And y'all didn't get nothing from it. Aren't these fitting the people that you speak of? The people that you descend from, right? This is fitting them, right? Go ahead and give me 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So why, why does it say that the Lord is going to bring them into Egypt again? How far is Egypt from Israel? Yeah, it's not that far. You could take a bus straight in Israel. You could you could walk in Israel. How did the Israelites get out of Egypt? What they do? They walk, right? Okay, keep reading. It says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He said he's gonna bring them into Egypt again, right? Do you know what Egypt means to the Israelites? You said what? It's not a sacred place. Give me that. Yeah, during, uh, Exodus twenty. This is the book of Exodus. Chapter 20 and verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. It's known to be like bondage, a bad place. Bring down to a low place. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 17 and 17. 17, 16. 16, 17. Read that. 17, 16? Yeah. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17, verse 16. Yeah. But he shall not multiply uh -huh. horses to himself, uh -huh. nor cause the people to return to Egypt. To do what? To return to Egypt. So you don't want the people to return to Egypt because we was in captivity there. We was the we was low there. We was ruled by the Egyptians. So when he's telling them in Deuteronomy 28 and 68 what's going to happen to the people, he said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt again. Automatically, they know, oh, that's slavery. That's captivity. We don't want to go back there. You see what I'm saying? You follow me? Keep reading. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships. With what? With ships. So when the Spaniards came over to Peru, what they was doing to y'all? Not only did they slave y'all Peru, they took some of y'all back over there in the Spain and traded a bunch of y'all all over the, the, uh, the translated slave trade, right? So we was on ships, right? By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. He said, just like how I'm saying it right here, how you reading out the book, it's going to happen just like that. You're not going to see your homeland Israel no more. And we know we haven't been back to Israel. Those people in Israel now cannot be the people. Because when it has when it has this ever happened to them? It has not. <laughs> Keep reading. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. To your who? To your enemies. So them Spaniards came over there and they slaved y'all. What did they do? They started slaying y'all off, right? So they're not your friends, they're your what? They're your enemies. They're your enemies. Keep reading. And they shall be sold unto your enemies uh -huh. for bond men, for slave man, and bond woman, and slave woman. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you. In the Hebrew, that means to, uh, no man is going to be able to redeem you out of this. You know, we done had Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, 
and I'm pretty sure some of the Hispanics that have great activists in their community, but none of us have, none of them have redeemed us from the state that we are in. We are still here. We are still in the land of our captivity. We still, we still here. So let me ask you a question: How do we get out this situation, bro? Always stay together. You say always stay together. I mean, that's good too. But what else? Give me Deuteronomy 30. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we get out this thing. It's a it's a common thing that's going on, right? What what was the what was the thing that we did to get us in this trouble? Read that 15 again. Read that 15 again. Right. Deuteronomy 20 and 15. Listen. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. We not listening to God. To observe to do all his commandments. It's what? His commandments. Uh-huh. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. So the curses get came upon us because of what? There you go. We didn't follow the commandments. So if we want to get out of this, we got to do what? We got to follow the commandments. Right. Read that. It is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30 and 1. Uh-huh. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. When all these things are come upon thee, uh -huh. the blessing and the curse. So when you see the blessings and the curse, because if you read Deuteronomy 28 and 1 and 15, those are blessings. We've seen that. You know, when King David, King Solomon was ruling, we was at the top. We was at the peak. We had, those are the blessings. But then after that, what do we see now? We see the curses. We at the bottom. We was the tail, we was the top, now we become the tail, right? Can you read? Which I have set before thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations. Uh, after all this has happened, and we get taken into captivity by these by our enemies, we're gonna remember ourselves and go, man, we suppose we we did we are, we're in this situation because we keep not listening to God. We keep not following his commandments, right? Keep reading. Whether the Lord thy God hath driven thee uh -huh. and shall return unto the Lord thy God. Listen, hey, sister, come listen to this real quick. Well, sister, come listen. You believe in the Bible? Do huh? you believe in the Bible? Yeah. You believe in the Bible? Come here real quick. What's your nationality, sister? Caribbean. Caribbean? Okay, so you see yourself on this song? Do you see yourself on this song? Oh, yeah. Which, which, what name you see there next to it? I know, I know now, yeah, something with a G, maybe. It's, it's, with the, it's with the B, right? Where is it? Right here, it's with the B. You said you're from the Caribbean, From right? the Caribbean. Look. So if we, you will be a so-called Benjamin. See, what we do in out here, sister, is teaching that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the actual true children of God. So what you got to do is you got to repent and come back to these laws that you commandments. The same thing I'm telling this brother right here, so we can get out of this, get out of this captivity that we're in. Listen to this real quick. Read that from the top. Do it right there. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. When all these things are come upon thee, uh -huh. the blessing and the curse. Because when you ever heard of Deuteronomy 28, we do your speed course real quick. You read Deuteronomy 28. There's terms and conditions, contract. You know, the Israelites went into a covenant with the most high God, right? So every every covenant, every contract got what? Terms and conditions. We broke those terms and conditions. So now because we broke those terms and conditions, we're not at the top no more. Where we at? We at the bottom, right? But so what I'm telling the brother here is how we get out of it. So I want you to listen to how we can get out of this, sister. Listen. The blessing and the curse uh -huh. which I have set before thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations. We are here to make people call to mind among all these nations, among all these people here, and make you remember what's going on. Keep reading. Whether the Lord thy God hath driven thee. Everywhere he sent us. Because we're scattered among the four corners of the world. Keep reading. And shall return unto the Lord thy God. And shall do what? And shall return uh, unto the Lord thy God. We're going to return back to him and do what? And shall obey his voice. And shall obey everything he told us to do. Keep reading. According to all that I command uh -huh. thee this day. Everything that he told Moses to tell the Israelites we were supposed to be doing. He commanded us to do that, right? Thou and thy children... With all thine heart, thou and, and with thy all thy soul. Thou and I chill with all thy heart and hearts. All of us have to do this if we want to get back to where we was. We want to get back to our homeland. We want to be back in rulership. We don't want to be at the bottom. I, I, I hate seeing my people hurt. Every 28 hours, a black man dies in America. Same thing with the brown men, the Hispanics. They die too. It was You ever seen a little boy that the police killed? He threw his hands up and they shot him in the chest. It's all over the news. It happens to You said what? A few months ago. But it happens to all of us. We all suffer these things. That's how we know we are all the same people. Keep reading. 
that then the Lord thy God uh -huh. will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee. And that's when the Lord is going to have compassion upon us, right? He read. And will return and gather thee from all the nations, uh -huh. whether the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out. That's good, that's good. So if we do that, he's going to come and gather us from this place or from wherever we at and bring us back to our homeland. So what I got to ask you now is, what did Christ teach us to do? Yeah, what he teaches all to do? To share his word. But in those words, what, what, what was said? What was told to us? Following his footsteps. What did Christ do? I'm going to go ahead and read it to you. I'm going I'm, I'm to show you right quick. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. Okay, I got you. Keep them come. Yeah, get, the, get his brother a flyer right quick. Keep those commandments, brother, and remember who you are. You're not Peruvian. You're an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? And, and do some research. Study these things. There's a lot of evidence showing this. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But sister, sister, I want you to hear this. This is what Christ told us to do, sis. Get in Matthew 19. Check this out, sister. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. Uh -huh. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? How, how do I get eternal life? How do I get to this kingdom? How do I get from the bottom? And how do I get to the top? How do I get out of this? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. There is none good but one. Uh -huh. That is God. Uh -huh. But if thou wilt enter into life. If you want to enter into life, this is what you got to do. Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. You got to keep the commandments, sis. You got to. Yeah, you can take a picture of us. But you got to understand you got to keep the commandments. These are the things that Christ taught us to do. He told us we're supposed to. Give me uh, Matthew 4 and 4. There you go. There you go. We, we are supposed to take heed to everything the Lord said. Read right, this book of Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall not live by bread alone, but what? But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Now, just a little bit. Every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. The things that I like. Every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to, you said Christ was our example. Well, Christ did what? He kept the commandments of the Lord. And he taught his people to keep the commandments of the Lord. And that's what I'm out here to tell our people. Because if we don't keep the commandments of the Lord, we're going to stay in the state that we're in. And ultimately, you're going to get destroyed since if you don't. So what I'm telling you is because I love you. And this is what love is. Give me uh, that we know that we love the children of God. And give me, uh, this is love, uh, John 1 and 5. One, yeah, John 5 and, uh, one. Where's John 5 and 3? <laughs> read that for me. You want, uh... God, read that. Oh, matter of fact, how do you have a personal relationship with God, sis? How? How do, you, like, how do you have a personal relationship with God? Like, if I say, I know you, I'm going to know the things that you like, right? Like, if certain things you tell me not to do, I'm, I'm not going to do it, right? It's the same thing with the most high. Read that. It's the book of First John, chapter 2 and verse 3. Uh-huh. And hereby we do know that we know him. Uh-huh. If we keep his commandments. If we do what? If we keep his commandments. This thing keeps getting repeated. You just think it's getting repeated because if you if you read through the Bible, we are a hard-headed nation. We keep we keep doing the same thing and we keep going, we keep getting in trouble. So the Lord had men come write his word in this book so we he, we can hear what he told us to do. Read that. It says, He that saith, I know him, uh -huh. and keepeth not his commandments, uh -huh. is a liar. Is a liar right there. And the truth is not in him. So if anybody's saying that they know the most high God or I got a personal relationship with God and keeps not the commandments, you're a liar. I'm not saying you, but all I'm saying is, if you really want to have that personal relationship with God, you need to know what he told us not to do. Read this. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 5 and 3. Because uh, no. guess what? If you, you, you got a man, how does your man show that he loves you? He does things I like. He does things you like, but he actually does something. He don't just say, I just love you. Right. That, that don't mean that you can say, he can say you love you all the time, but if he out doing you wrong, it's like, do it does he love me? Same thing with the most high reader. For this is the love of God. But this is the love of God, sis. That we keep his commandments. Uh -huh. And his commandments are not grievous. And his commandments are not grievous. I mean they're easy. So you need to understand it. So you gotta understand you are the greatest people on the face of the earth. You are above all nations of people.
but you need to come back and keep these laws that you command. Very nice. That's our Christian Catholic we What we would say is we are true Christians. Because what is a Christian? A follower of Christ. So everything that Christ told us to do, I followed. Just like he told me to keep the commandments. Yeah, there's that's, a lot of fake Christians. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. And the, what, we, what we come out to say is that these pastors in these churches are not treating the true wisdom of God. It's not coming from there. Because if it was, we wouldn't still be where we at. When I was a Christian, I could say I was a Christian all the time, but I was still doing wrong. I was still doing bad. Because I wasn't taught these things. Like, what is sin, sis? What is sin? Sin, S-I-N. S-I-N? Yeah, what is sin? Oh, sin. Uh, it's disobeying God. It's disobeying God, going against the commandments of the Lord. Yeah. See, certain things like that, it's not even taught. When I was coming up, I didn't know that. So if you want, if you tell somebody they sin, they're breaking the law, statutes, commandments of God. Go ahead. Uh, this, he says like uh, fake Christians, right? Listen to this. Christ talked about it. This is the book of mm -hmm. Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 8. Then Matthew 7. This people draw it nigh unto uh, me with many their people mouth. Call his name, and honor me with their lips. Know you, Matthew 7, but their heart is far 22. from you. Yeah. Right? Like, they basically, they, 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 they say they're Christians, but it, in, in reality, they don't, they don't, they don't show that in their works. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You guys are you out of time. Man, will say to me, yeah, 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 we can. Well, I think we're gonna start coming out here more. Yeah. Well, since they're not messing with us, yeah. 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 We'll be sometimes we'll be here on Sundays. We'll be here over there. They don't like us out here. Okay. Or sometimes we'll be down there uh, by the Iron Cap. Okay. But yeah, I wish I could live down downtown, yeah. so I'm trying. To but let me give you this last scripture, sister. Okay. This is the book of Matthew, chapter seven and twenty-two. This is red letter. This is from Christ. Many will say to me in that day, uh -huh. Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Uh huh. And in thy name have cast out devils. Like you said, it's a lot of fake Christians. They they said they cast out devil. Name, uh, they cast out devils in the name of the Lord, right? Keep reading. And in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, uh -huh. I never knew you. He said what? I never knew you. Who? He read. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Ye that work iniquity. Iniquity is sin. So anybody that's, that's sinning and going against the commandments of God, when the Christ comes back, he's going to say he does not know you, sis. Yeah. So you got to take heed to that. Start keeping these laws as your commandments. Okay. okay? All right. Thank you. you have a nice day. Guys. Every Sunday, you say? Oh, uh, we are here. What, we, what's the, what's the new, Saturday. new schedule? Yeah. Sunday and Wednesday, we're here. Saturday, it's Paris. Sometimes it's Paris, sometimes it's downtown. You guys have Instagram where you guys post all yeah, this stuff? Yeah, it's, oh, it's on the fly. Oh, it's on the fly. It's on the fly. Yeah, yeah, Go ahead and follow. You can... Bye, guys. Okay, all right. Just be safe out here. Okay. Brother, you got questions? What's happening? <laughs> I guess hey, the brother hey, ain't got questions. I don't think that was pushed all the way up. I guess the brother ain't got questions, but... It didn't seem like it. Okay. Oh, it's because that one's perfect. Hey, with that, Shalom. 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 Shalom.